Now we're taking a look at Man of Sorrows. And we're going to start with the right hand, the last two bars, bars seven and eight. Okay. Um, but we're going to start with the last two chords. So I'll highlight them for you here. Okay. We're in the key of C major. We're going to start with our thumb on F above middle C, third finger on A. So F and A. And then we're just going to go down to E and G with one and two. Like that. F, A, and down to E, G. Let's do this in rhythm. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And again, here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty easy. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the last chord of bar seven, which is E, A, and we're going to go to the downbeat. Okay, so it's going to be thumb on E and third finger on A. And all you're going to do is you're going to slide your thumb up to A, F, like that. E, then slide your thumb up to F, so it's really easy. And now we're going to do that in tempo. Three and four. And one. Let's do that again. Three and four. And one. One more time. Three and four. And one. Just like that. And now we're going to go back one chord to E and C. All right. So our thumb is on E and our fifth finger is on C. And your third finger should already be on A. So you're just going to do four and like that. Four and. Thumb stays on E and fifth finger goes to third finger on A. Let's try just that much in rhythm. Two and three. Four and. Let's do that again. Two and play. Four and. Two and three. Four and. And notice we can already play this pretty fast because of how much we are isolating these sections. So now we're going to do four and one and that much. Okay? So thinking it through, we start on E, C, then E, A, one, three, and then your thumb goes up to F, like that. Let's take it slowly. One, and, two, and, play, and, four, and, one. Let's do that again. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. Okay, a little faster. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and again, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Now let's combine that with the last bar. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Once again, one, and two, and three. And four and one, two, three, four, and one more time. One and two and play and four and one, two, three, four. Okay. And now we're gonna, we're gonna do is the first part of bar seven, and it's really easy because check this out. We start on our thumb on G and our fifth finger on E. All right, and now watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk my hand down by step because we have parallel sixths here. So step down to F, D, and step down to E, C. Notice the distance between my fingers stays the same. I'm just playing G, F, E, just like that. So step your hand down while maintaining the same distance, and you got it. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to do it in time. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Once again. Ready and play. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to try it slowly, combining it all. It's going to sound like this. One, two, 
three, four, and one. Okay, that's where it gets a little bit tricky, just combining it, so we're gonna go really slowly. Three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Let's do that again. Three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And this time we're going to do the whole thing together. Three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And then just work that up in tempo a bit, and then continue with us on the next video.